some gorgeous views mm. there. Very atmospheric. I was it? just about to say, you took the words right <laughs> out of my mouth, actually. Yes. What's causing all of this fog, though, Keely? Right. Well, it's first, it's worth saying it's not uncommon at this type of time of year. Now, fog is tiny little water droplets suspended in the air, and you can get lots of different types of fog. The fog that we've had this week is called radiation fog and it's the most common type of fog and it's very common in autumn and winter. And the conditions that we've had this week are ideal for it. High pressure, light winds and clear skies at night. And what happens is the sky is clear and the heat from the earth radiates, cools the earth and cools the little area of air just above the earth and um, <laughs> it loses its ability to hold the water as vapour and it condenses out as fog. You do sound as if you know what you're talking about. A little about. bit, yes. I've learned, like I've learned from the best. Test. How <laughs> long have we got this for then? Well, we're over the worst of it because high pressure is being pushed away and low pressure is replacing it. It's a little bit misty out there at the moment. I think that the Vale of York will still have some dense fog patches tonight and another type of fog tonight, hill fog, uh, with the area of rain pushing up. It's basically low cloud. Fog and cloud are basically the same thing. So we just want to know, is Harry going to be all right going home later tonight? Later tonight. Well, with with, with his driving, absolutely not. <laughs> um, thank you for sending all those pictures in. You can, of course, keep your pictures coming in. Paul, the weather, some changes in the weather over the next few days. I tweeted it earlier, but I'll repeat it again. Goodbye, fog. Hello, wind and rain. And tomorrow, a bit of a transitional day. It will be rather cloudy. There'll be a little bit of mist out there and some showers later on in the day. And then as we move through Thursday, Friday and Saturday, we've got several weather fronts pushing up from the south. And actually, Saturday looks like a particularly nasty storm. Still a lot of uncertainty in that one, but keep tuned throughout the week. There could be some possible disruption. So we've kept a lot of the cloud today. And actually, at the moment, some of that mist and murk is redeveloping out there. What we'll find through the night, though, is this area of rain will push up, mainly skirting through western parts, but it'll tend to mix up a lot of that mist and fog that's out there at the moment. Hill fog replacing it along the Pennine chain, but I think down the Vale of York we will still keep uh, some of those denser patches of fog, temperatures dropping back to around 9 or 10 degrees. So the sun will rise in the morning at 11 minutes past 7, setting again at 4.27, and those are your high waters along our coastline over the next few hours. So we'll start the day tomorrow, a bit of mist and murk, some dense fog down the Vale of York, some hill fog as well. But what we'll find is that it'll all tend to lift a little bit more readily uh, tomorrow. So we will see perhaps a little bit of brightness along the coast, though, a lot of murk persisting there. And we may well get some showery rain just pushing up coastal parts too. A lot of the rain uh, or showery rain for the rest of Yorkshire will stay at bay until tomorrow evening. Temperatures a little higher tomorrow, getting up to around 12 degrees, some wet and windy weather to come through Thursday, blustery with showers on Friday, and then some potentially horrid, very windy weather on Saturday, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Keely. It feels like we're heading into winter. It does, indeed. And thanks for your lesson on fog. That was great. You're more than welcome. Paul would have been delighted with that. <laughs> would, would he? He was yeah. paying I'd, attention. I'd have fallen asleep had Paul said it. Yeah, that's, really <laughs> that's as far thanks as we go. I'll watching. be back with Keely for the late. We'll Good see night you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.